Hello everybody, Carl Keister here with ClearSurf Financial Education. I thought I would put out a video of the uh, stimulus check possibilities because I see this is a pretty uh, common topic that a lot of folks are asking about. And what I'm seeing is with three weeks until the election from today, um, looks like they're getting a little bit closer. The initially uh, initial proposal, Democrats wanted 2.2 trillion, Republicans wanted 1.6 trillion. Now they're kind of getting to the middle, even though the President Trump had said he didn't want to negotiate anymore until the election gets here. And that kind of sent the market down. The next day it popped back up because he said that he would be behind uh, sending out checks directly to people, which is what they did in March with the CARES Act. So sending checks out directly, $1,200 per person directly out. So that's still there. There's still a lot of consensus between Republicans and Democrats as far as getting the money directly to people that need it. I know there's still a lot of people unemployed, small business owners are still suffering because they're not at full capacity. People are still fearful of going out, uh, unfortunately. But um, it just looks like they're, they're, they could get something done. That 1.8 trillion is a little bit closer to um, a middle ground, if you ask me. But um, you know, Trump had mentioned last week that he's not going to let his staff negotiate anymore. And then, of course, that was taken on the other side, like it's not going to happen. But I, I'm still thinking it could, but uh, it's a possibility because now we're into October. And as of October, you're seeing industry, airline industries are laying off in particular, uh, and small business are still hurting. So I think there is a little bit of consensus there right now where uh, a direct payment to some airlines for payroll support could be useful. And then also small business program support could be useful as well. Um, and it depends who you talk, there's still saying some money left over from the CARES Act that wasn't completely distributed from the second round. Um, but airlines are still way off. Delta reported today and they're saying that they were off 63% uh, capacity off versus a year ago. And they took a $4 billion charge in the quarter. So obviously people aren't flying as much. Um, I saw this week that the airlines, I know for us living down in South Florida, cruise lines that mentioned that they're not going to allow cruises out of Miami at least through November now so that's getting extended it probably won't be long until that gets extended into next year so a lot of small business still suffering um, but as far as this goes there's still it's still that political football I can't can't say either way whether it's going to get done if it does get done I think it will be in a form of checks directly to people again it's going to be the quickest way to get the money out um, but we'll see like I mentioned there's there's some pressure, even the Democrats, I've seen a couple of Democrats lately that are saying, uh, like Andrew Yang and some others are saying that they should do it. It's one, they're offering 1.8 trillion, it's pretty close. And nothing is done now, you know, the election, and even if, even if the House, White House turns over, you're not looking at anything until, until probably February. And so most people need help now, they don't wanna wait till then. So um, in my opinion, there's, we're getting closer to a push where something could happen. I think it will be checks directly if it does happen again. But one thing I'll have you keep in mind, you know, everybody talks about these numbers of these checks going out and it's not as easy as it sounds because honestly, I just looked today and the United States now has $27 trillion in debt with a T, $27 trillion in debt and there's only 330 million people living in the country. So, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to say push these checks out and I feel bad for those that aren't working and obviously the business owners, I don't know how some are still floating. I know in our area, you're starting to see more people going out, some more normalcy, definitely more people on the roads again. Um, but all in all, it's, it's been a tough slot for everybody and, and I just have to say, you know, I, I feel bad for those that are affected and uh, who's not really at this point in time, no matter what your business is, almost everyone's affected unless you're selling masks or you're selling, uh, you know, Clorox. So anyway, I thought I'd bring this quick update to you and um, that'll be it for today. I'll keep on top of it. If anything new comes up, I'll let you know. Till next time, thanks.